Hello, my people. Hello, hello, hello there. Another day, another tier list. What's up? Dun, 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 dun. What's up, guys? You here with me? What is up? And the first person that joined the chat is called Joshua Farrow. What's up, Joshua? Hey, Pikablu. Hey, Seren11. Hey, Shorik Gaming. Hey, Aquila. Hey, Fifi Guy BA. Hey, Benjamin Pinkston. Hey, Ember2 Fuji Productions. Hey, Maple Babel. Hey, Harukim. Hey, Gamer19XD. Hey, Raspberry. Hey, The Phantom. Hey, Kronos. Hey, Eric Bonk. Hey, The Senate. Ha, huh, The Senate. Hello there. <laughs> What's up, Johnny? What's up, Jonah? <laughs> Johnny and Jonah. What's up, Saharli? And hello, people. Another day, another tier list. Today, we're doing um, gym leader battle themes. In chronological order, I'm gonna explain the rules because I, I think I forgot to do that last time with the rival themes. So, uh, I'm not gonna be counting uh, the old battle themes, like from gens 1 to 3. Why? The only reason is because they're outdated already. They already have remakes. Uh, this time for the gym leaders I will use BDSP version of course. Because I think that's the only theme, the only battle theme that uh, is worth it. In my opinion. And the others are like... Uh. But yeah, the gym leader battle for BDSP was actually decent. I'm gonna be ranking it up uh, later today. Don't worry. But yeah, uh, it's the only worth it from, from BDSP, so I'm counting it as as the new version and not the Generation 4 version. So, uh, if you notice, uh, there's like <laughs> a lot of Kanto themes that we're going to be listening to today. Oh, Hunter! Thank you, man. Thank you for, for those $5. Thank you. Thank you, man. Probably going to be... Oh, man, that that's okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming by and for your super chat. Really, really thankful for that. Um, yeah, so we have actually four Kanto themes in this list. We have Fire Red and Leaf Green version, the uh, post game from Hard Gold and Silver version, the Black and White version from the PWT, and the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee version. If I'm forgetting about something, just say it in the chat, please, guys, because you know I tend to forget a lot of things. Like last time, you guys remember I forgot about Gladion and uh, <laughs> about N2. So yeah, <laughs> uh, if I if I'm forgetting about actually, uh, I forgot about uh, well in Anola, you know we don't have gym leaders, so I I forgot about that, and uh, and the last minute I added uh, the Kahuna, the Aslan Kahuna uh, battle theme. Because it counts as a gym leader battle theme. Maybe. I don't know. I just added it, okay? Don't blame me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if I, again, if I forget about something, just please tell me. So, shall we start, guys? Are you guys ready for this? Please tell me in the chat. I'm gonna be saying hi to the new people. Hi, Scraggy TV. Hi, Inku. Hi, SG. Hi, Impending Doom. Hi, Tora V4. Hi, The Ball with the Shield. Hi, Nelson. Hi, E score. <laughs> uh, yeah, hi to the new people. Let's start this thing. Okay, first, fire red and leave green. Let's turn out the volume. Da -da -da -da. Such a classic, man. Those timpani. Just listen to those timpani. Yeah. This part, so crazy. Man, I love Ichinose. He managed to do a already good battle theme from Gen 1, like way better. The French horns, give me the French horns, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So, for nostalgia reasons, 
Um, I think this is great. No, I think this is awesome for nostalgia reasons. Uh, it already lost a little bit of energy, you know, because of the instruments, because they are old already. But I still think it's awesome, in my opinion. Like, Ichinose, even with the limited uh, instruments palette from 2003 this game is, it's amazing, it still sounds amazing. Uh, I, I'm gonna be calling it awesome. Yeah. So, moving on to the Kanto version from Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Oh man, oh man. This isn't another level. This is way, way better. Hell yeah. Oh man, this part. The introduction is so good. And actually, he did it in minor key this time. And you know minor key is way more epic. Oh, the guitar. There's like a lot of instruments going on at the same time in this theme. This specific rendition is awesome. If you look at the MIDI from the original, there's like 12 instruments playing at the same time. Yeah, man, I love this. You can't stop listening to this. Easily. Like, imagine, I, I'm actually... Uh, I'm not gonna say you're my age, but I'm pretty old. <laughs> so I lived the hype of the first time the reveal of Hard Gold and Soul Silver, and we were crazy about the music. Like we were crazy about how how is it gonna sound like, like the new themes and stuff. And when I when I got to Kanto and I got to the first gym, I was like, my mind blew, my mind was blown away. This theme was perfect. Like was like the perfect rendition, the perfect update to the original. Like, well, it was easy to do that because the original is in 4 bits or 8 bits or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. So let's move on to the Black and White 2 version. Actually, uh, well, fun fact, uh, I've never played... Well, I didn't play Black and White 2 when it, when it first came out. I did play the ROM version, the Japanese ROM version, when it got leaked and stuff. But it wasn't like a part of my life. I, I quit Pokemon in that part of my life, so I didn't experience the PWT on its max, on its prime. So uh, this rendition is, I think it's good. Let, let's hear it first. Oh yeah. Man. Oh, Fifi guy, I'm from Mexico. Like, this part... This lead instrument that they used is it's like uh, I don't want to say out of place but yeah like the rest is great it's it's perfectly fine This version is so full like it has a it doesn't have that many instruments as the hard gold soul silver version, but it feels fuller because the instruments have um, better quality. So um, yeah, this is this is gonna be awesome for me, only because of that lead instrument in the, in the first part. So yeah, as I was saying, the first part of the theme. Uh, that lead instrument loses, uh, for me, loses uh, some energy. So yeah, that's good. That's why I'm gonna be calling it just awesome. Just because it's so full and, and full of energy. Now, let's go and Pikachu Eevee's version. Kageyama. Nah. <laughs> you know, you know the drill, guys. Just please don't kill this version. <laughs> it's it's good. I mean, it's good. 
it's a good rendition. You gotta admit it. You know, it's not great, but it's good. It feels like the anime version, but better, way better. Saludos a todos mis hermanos mexicanos. Oh yeah. Well, it's great. Okay, it's great. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's okay or great. Ah, it's hard. Like, there's some parts that have a lot of energy, but the others are like. Guys, can you hear me? Guys. Guys. Oh no, not again. Guys, is it is it okay now? Is it okay now, guys? Guys. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my connection. Oh, this sucks. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue before something else happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, now for the uh, Jodo Gym Leader. The Heart Gold Soul Silver version. Yeah! Dun, 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 dun. We need to hear this updated. Oh, I don't know what I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's listen to it again. This one's so, so hype. You know that effect when you listen to, to music that it's old and you remember it was better the first time you heard it? <laughs> so yeah, this happens to me with this version. <laughs> like, I remember it being super, super good and awesome back then but now I don't know I don't know guys dun, 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 dun. oh yeah I love this uh, I don't know what to do okay um yeah like, listen to the guitar on the right side, on the right ear. I don't know. Uh, they did what they could with their limitations. Whew. Sorry, but yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be calling it just great. Because it definitely needs an update. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So, moving on to... The black and white 2 version. Oh. What? This isn't it. <laughs> what? I think I I think I I changed things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh let me just look up for, for the right theme. I think it's this one. Yeah. This one. Yeah, this is way better. Yeah, this is way better. I think that's yeah, it's because of the kick. It's because of the kick drum. Uh, I don't like so much the drum loop. I think this was Sato. Was it Sato? Oh yeah, this is... Is it back? Is it back, guys? Oh, I hate living in Mexico. Please, take me out of here. Let me out! <laughs> please, please, guys, tell me if the stream is back. Oh my god. Ah, I hate my internet. Please, take me to Europe or Asia. I don't want to live here anymore. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, let's let's finish listening to this. So yeah, um, this version feels fuller. Like it has, it definitely has has a uh, better energy. But I don't know about the instruments, like, for the original composition, they don't do justice to the composition. So, yeah, it's okay. Let's gonna be... I'm gonna be putting it in it's okay, because I don't like the instruments that much. It's mostly because of the drum loop. 
I think the drum loop, I don't know. I don't know about you, but to me, it doesn't fit that much. Yeah, um, I'm really, really sorry, guys, for for the for the uh, for my internet connection. It sucks. I know it sucks, and I need to upgrade. Please forgive me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be uh, continuing now. Okay, Oras, let's go to Hoenn. Okay, I didn't remember how this sounded on headphones because it's been so long since I heard this version. I think the same happens to me with this one as the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee version because it's made by Kayama. <laughs> this is Kagayama, right? I don't even know. I mean, it does justice to the original, definitely. I don't think there's a way, a, a better way to do this theme. We're not doing the original themes because they are outdated already. I said it in the in the beginning of the stream. I'm sorry if, if I didn't repeat it. I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's great. Especially those uh, synths in the background. So yeah, you know I'm a drummer guy. Uh, I'm, I'm all about the drums and the bass lines. So these bass and these drums... I don't know. I'm so used to Ichinose and, and his, bum, his punchy drums. So yeah... Um, it's great, it's great, it's definitely great. The orchestra is it's it's perfect. The mixing is is really well balanced. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's great. Let's listen to the black and white 2 version. What happened here? <laughs> what happened? What what the hell happened? <laughs> Another drum loop. What is it with the black and white two gym gym leader battle themes that use so many drum loops? I mean, this one is more creative. It's it's more clever. It has different instruments. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Sato. <laughs> that's definitely Sato. I don't like this drum loop. <laughs> I, I honestly don't like the drum loop. Oh, but listen to those synths on the right ear. Oh yeah. It has a lot of additions. And it's really, really creative with the original composition. Okay. Okay, it doesn't have much energy. It loses a little bit of energy. But I think the arrangement is really clever. Like Sato did a lot of new additions. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, to be honest, it's great. Yeah, I think that's all I can say about that theme. <laughs> what did you guys think? It's okay, it's okay, great. Guitar, nice use of stereo, okay ish. Low key, not as good as I remember. Exit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't remember it being good because I didn't hear it. As I, again, as I said, I didn't play Black and White when it released. So maybe for most, for the most people that think it's awesome. Oh my god, I can't believe. Oh my god, I can't believe. Am I back? Guys, am I back? Am I back, guys? I hate this. I hate this crap. <sighs> okay. As I was saying, if my internet lets me, uh, maybe the people that think that the Black and White 2 Hoenn theme version is, is awesome is because of nostalgia reasons. Maybe that's why I think 
the fire red and olive green uh, gym leader is awesome, but maybe not for for me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I don't know what I'm. I don't know what to do, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna continue. Okay. I'm gonna continue. So moving on to Sino. Let's hear the VDSP version, shall we? Eh. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna allow that. Da -da -da -da. Guys, is the stream back? Am I streaming back? Am I live again? Guys. Okay, I don't know what's going on, and, and I'm really getting so pissed right now. Ugh. I'm really, really sorry about this. I hate Mexico. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Am I okay now? Okay, yeah, we're back, we're back, yeah. Let's keep continuing uh, hearing the theme. So, uh, my thoughts on this... I think it's okay... Nah... It's not me- it's, it's definitely not made a slap. Definitely, definitely not made a slap. Because there are some things that Kageyama changed. I gotta admit that. But yeah... I don't know. Uh, yeah, again, like, like with my entire BDSP opinion, it's it's basically the same as my opinion for the game itself on the entire OST. <laughs> like, it could have it could have been done way way better. There's actually something that not many people know, and that is that, um, well, we think that ha that, that happened. Because if you remember, the first time that the game released, uh, it the, the OST wasn't complete. Like, it was all over, uh, the entire OST was placeholder. Well, some uh, there were like five or six, if I remember correctly, five or six themes that were finished already. But yeah, uh, at first, most of the themes were placeholders and that makes us believe that the OST wasn't finished for the deadline of the of the game release so we think that Kagayama didn't have that much time to to finish properly the OST and he basically made a slapped uh, most of the tracks uh, except the battle themes well yeah um, maybe he wanted to keep true and faithful to the original as that was the thematic of the whole BDSP remake, maybe. But uh, I don't know. With Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, he was even. I think he was even more creative in some ways, even if some of the themes were all strings. <laughs> On this one, I don't know. I think it's a. It's a pretty regular version you would hear from someone on YouTube. Like and and I, and I can even say that there are better versions out there on YouTube, especially one from my man Andy Music. I don't know if you know about him. Uh, Andy Music, he's a really good friend. He's a great musician, and he did a, uh, actually. Let me just put it for you. Let me just play it. Uh, he did a, he did an amazing rendition of the Sino Gym Leader, and that that's what I was expecting from Kageyama. Sino Gym Leader Andy Music. Uh, this is what I was expecting from from Kageyama from BDSP. Look. Listen to this. This is amazing. This is so good. And this was this is so creative. I'm gonna be putting the link for you guys to check it out. 
Wie gehört sich Itz so aus an? Like, you definitely have to check it out. It's an amazing rendition. Like, yeah, in, in general... In general, I was expecting something else from BDSP. As everyone, as almost everyone. Almost everyone were expecting, you know, uh, character redesigns, rude redesigns, uh, overall a better remake. But we didn't get that, sadly. <laughs> what we got was um, Little People remake. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna be talking much about BDSP. If you if you guys want me to talk about BDSP on a on a video or on a stream, uh, just tell me in the chat or in the comments of any video. Uh, there's a lot to to be talked about BDSP, um, the arrangements of the game. I don't think we have to blame on Kageyama for for the themes to be bad. I think we should blame on the Pokemon Company. Or even some people at Game Freak for the no, not not even at Game Freak because Game Freak didn't do, didn't do this game. Maybe not even Ilka. We should blame it on the Pokemon Company definitely because of the deadlines. It wasn't Kagayama's fault at all. But yeah, some things could have been done better. Yeah, let's let's stop talking about bad things, bad stuff, and move on to the Black and White Two version, shall we? Yeah, give it to me. Hell yeah. Oh man, that sitar. I don't like the synths that much. Oh, I forgot to rank this this stuff. I'm gonna be calling it boring, okay? The BDSP version. Yeah. This one's great. It's great. Oh, this part. The bass, the bass is great. Again, I don't like the synths that much. I think they're too much. <laughs> and again, another drum loop. <laughs> The strings are perfect, the trumpets, yeah. <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> oh man, that's such a good name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the synths are too much for me, but then again, it's not... A faithful rendition is like a remix, a like general remix for Black and White 2 for the PWT. So yeah, I'm gonna be giving it that. Um, I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I like it. I like it so much. It's great. So let's move on, shall we? Okay. Now for actually the best version and the best arrangement and. I think the most creative arrangement of this theme ever, the Hisui version by Go Ichinose. Hell yeah! Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> oh man, that slap bass. Slap me in the face, Go Ichinose. Please, slap me in the face. Hell yeah! This is so good. Oh, Mendozan64, thank you. Thank you for that super chat. And thank you for your love. Oh, hell yeah. This part. I can't stop listening to this crap. Hell yeah, give me the bass! Let's go! 
Like maybe the mixing is not so good in this version because of the instruments he used, but the arrangement is crazy. This part right here, this part right here, it's amazing. Like oh my god, the choir. And then we go to this. This part is so epic. Hell yeah. Guys, you can't even imagine my reaction when I heard this theme the, for the first time. I remember these themes got leaked like way earlier, like two weeks earlier. And I was like super, super crazy about this. Like literally, couldn't stop playing this theme every day. I think I heard it like 10 times every day when it got leaked. It's awesome. I, I can't get enough of this scene, honestly. <laughs> let's let's just hear it fully, shall we? Like the 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 two loops. It's so good. What I have to say about the mixing of this track is that in general with with battle themes from Hisui is that this time they got an audio engineer, uh, a new guy, mixing the tracks for, for the final mix. And it feels like it complements the other tracks. It doesn't feel out of place. But it feels a bit weird. Man, this part is crazy. Am I back? Guys, am I back? Am I back? Am I back? Did you guys leave? Please don't leave me, guys. Please don't leave me. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Please. Am I back? I think I'm back. Am I back? Okay, we're back. Yeah. Ah, uh, such a bummer, right? If you guys are enjoying this stream, please leave your like. Please share the transmission. Please give me your love <laughs> for me to have better internet connection. <laughs> please. I'm crying. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Um, now, for my favorite, my all-time favorite, like nothing beats this, these, because it's two, these two gym leader battles, black and white. Just listen to those orchestra hits in the beginning and don't tell me that it isn't the best gym leader battle theme you've ever heard. It's so hyped. Hell yeah! This aged so well. I can't stop listening. Easily S tier. Can't stop listening. This part. Yeah. I love this composition. It's amazing. It's amazing. Hell yeah. Oh no. Did I die? Oh, I think I'm back. Okay. And then, and then... Hell yeah. Like these two, these two come together. They aren't two separate themes. They are the same theme, okay? They are the same theme with a C. Da -da 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 
The Galore Anthem! <laughs> the Ichinose Anthem! Like, for real, man. For real. Unova can be beaten. And won't be beaten. Ever. You hear me? Unova Gym Leader Battle and Victory Lies Before You will never be beaten by any theme, by any Gym Leader Battle theme. At all. Do you guys hear me? <laughs> any other opinion is not correct. Do you hear me? <laughs> now, I, again, I know, I know everyone has an opinion, everyone has their takes. But yeah, I'm such uh, a yeah, Unova lover. I love the themes, I love the OST. In my opinion, it's the most, imp it has the most impact and the best energy, the strongest energy from a gym leader battle from any other generation. Now, for the black and white 2 version, and I gotta admit, I definitely gotta admit, it's better. It's way better. Let's listen. The guitar. The guitar. This is the guitar. Yeah. I cannot describe what I feel when I listen to this track. The guitar has portamento. It has portamento. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah, you're right, Muti Tipathy. Pink strat from Goliath. I honestly cannot describe what I feel when I hear this theme. There are so many emotions going on right now. Oh, this guitar! It's awesome! You guys ready? You guys ready? Tell me, you guys ready? Hell yeah! Actually, there, there are more differences between the Black and White 2 and Black and White 1 version of Victory Lies Before You. I'm gonna tell you that uh, when, when we end. Color Anthem! So yeah, as I was saying, the Black and White 1 and the Black and White 2 version share some differences. On this version, on the Black and White 2 version, there are some... Uh, there's harps, harp runs uh, on the left ear. There's more timpani, way more timpani than the original version. And I think... It's the strings? Yeah, it's the strings. The strings are octave up uh, higher. I don't know, maybe for, for a better and a stronger energy uh, feeling, I don't know. But yeah, it has like two or three more instruments than the original and it feels it feels way better. Do you guys wanna hear the same remix? Do you guys wanna hear it? <laughs> the same version? Do you guys wanna hear it? If you guys want to hear my version of this theme, please tell me in the chat. And I'll just look at it. Which which version? Black and white or, or black and white one? The same version from Black and White 1 or 2? The first person that, that tells me. Black and White 2, okay. Black and White 2. Let's go! The same. Am I back? Am I back? 
My internet is trolling me. My internet is it's, it's definitely trolling me. Am I back? Am I back? Do I have a troll in the chat? Shall we start from the beginning? <laughs> I think it's because I'm dead. Am I dead or am I back? I think I'm thinking I'm... Uh, it's maybe... Guys, am I back? I think it's maybe because I'm playing videos while I'm streaming and my internet is so poor that it can handle it. So yeah, let's not do it. Okay. <laughs> let's just continue. Uh, we were... Oh, I did. I forget to. Oh, no. Guys, I'm sorry. I have to modify this. Yeah, I have to modify the list. Uh, because I forgot to add Alula. Uh, give me just a minute. Please, guys, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. If, if the stream... If the stream dies, please guys don't leave, okay? Just stay with me, okay? Uh, I just added Alola to the stream, okay? Uh, let's hear... We were on Generation 5, right? Now, it's time for the most boring battle theme ever. The most boring gym leader battle theme, I think. Mm, da -da -da -da. Guys, is the stream well now? Can you guys hear me well? Or is it laggy still? Is it still laggy? Guys? Guys, if it's still laggy, please tell me. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Let's go with Alola, shall we? This is epic. Duh. What is this? What is what was that introduction? Yeah, I I'm I forgot to add X and Y. <laughs> We're gonna listen to it after this. I'm sorry. Yeah, I skipped it because, I don't know, I forgot. Because this is better. <laughs> I, I Honestly, I love this thing. It's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. Even better than Fire Emblem. Hell yeah. Maybe it's because it's Ichinose. And I'm so biased towards Ichinose. Yeah, man. The kick drum is so powerful. I want Go Ichinose to slap the bass in front of me. And to kick in my face. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know if... Of course I counted it as a gym leader battle theme. You know, because there's no gym leaders in Alola. Uh, so yeah, it's it's awesome. It brings back so many memories. I don't know why Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are so nostalgic to me. Even if uh, if I was old enough uh, to not like those those games <laughs> when they came out, it's so nostalgic. I think it's I think it's the composition itself and that it's Ichinose that arranged it. Maybe it's that. Maybe I don't know. So yeah, I'm sorry if I skipped uh, X and Y. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> We're gonna hear it now, okay? I'm sleeping now. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's just a damn arp. 
a synth arm, and that's it. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not bad, but it's boring. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's boring. The guitar part is good, I gotta admit. I don't know man, it reminds me so much of... It reminds me so much of Pokemon Go. Maybe that's why I don't like it so much. Maybe it's because... I don't know. The guitar isn't so bad. But the rest, it's so meh. Yeah, exactly Isabella, the intro lasts too long. It feels like a remix of a remix of the actual theme. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna be doing Corina's theme. It's just all over the place. Yeah. Like, I think this is even the best part. <laughs> like the ending of the theme, I think it's the best part of the theme. Like this part right here. I don't know why. <laughs> how how long does he? Okay, so the bass loop, like the loop, like uh, a loop from a theme, it's. It's just a composition without repeating. So the bass loop for this track is 2 minutes and 16 seconds. <laughs> and it's so long and so boring because not much things happen in the composition. I don't know what Masuda was into when he composed this. Probably not drugs. Probably he was sleepy when he composed it. <laughs> Probably he was just like, uh, I gotta, I, I have to finish this, 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 presses the button and adds ARPs, synth, synth ARPs, and, and he asks someone to, to do the guitar, like, oh, what was it, like, you know how the Japanese talk, please, please, could you do a guitar part for me for this boring thing, because I have no imagination, and yeah, <laughs> probably that's how he composed it. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just kidding, Masuda, I love you. <laughs> so, now we're gonna do Corinas, and... It's way better. It's Corina's battle is way better. Like just from the beginning. It it so many things happen and so many transitions happen that make this version better. It's still so long and the intro is so meh. But it's better, because the drums change a lot. There's no actual melody playing. But yeah, the synth is better. These synths are better. So it's still boring? No, I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Your typical Masuda composition. He always does this. Yeah, exactly, Alejandro. It's so Pokemon Go like. It reminds, it reminds me so much of the of the Pokemon Go things. But you know what? I think the melody and the synths used in this version are the same on the uh, overworld map composition from Pokemon Go, like the daytime composition. I think they're the same. Maybe that's why. The baseline is not bad.
Like, again, the theme is not bad. The theme is definitely not bad. It's not a bad composition. But coming from Unova, coming from such a powerful battle theme, such such powerful orchestra hits, uh, and then going to this, like, imagine the reaction of someone that's been playing Pokemon for over... At that time, it was 15 years, I think? Nah, it was, it was 10 or something like that. Like, imagine changing from so much power to this lackluster version of a gym later battle. It doesn't feel like Pokemon. And then, we're gonna go for the magical mystery version. The Galar gym later battle. The blade. Battle theme. You guys ready? You guys ready for the best battle theme? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come on, Adachi. Come on, Adachi. Just hit that sick delay. I've seen so many memes of this theme. <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh man. You guys you guys don't imagine my reaction when I first heard this. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Actually, the first time they revealed this, I think it was uh, on Twitter. I think it was a preview of a gym leader battle, an actual gym leader battle on Twitter. And when I heard it, I was like, nah, this gotta be stock music. This has gotta be stock music for the trailer. And it's not gonna be in the game, right? Right? <laughs> and then I was so wrong. Oh no, I hated this. I hate it. With all my heart, I hated this thing when I first heard it. It's like your typical racing game from those... Uh, oh. The build up, the build up. So yeah, it's your typical race game, racing game from the uh, the retro machines games. Like you know those games when you uh, when you actually uh, hop in the in the machine and it's a car and you have the wheel and you know it's that. It's it's that thing. What is this? What is this? Like, what is this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is this, man? <laughs> this is so funny. I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts, my final thoughts, after the theme is, is finished, okay? I don't want to interrupt this. Chant with me guys, if you're in your house, call to your parents, call your friends, your brothers and sisters, and chant with me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what is this? No, why? Why? <laughs> oh my god. And I actually can't believe that the stream didn't stop when we were here in this thing. <laughs> it's incredible. What is this? Oh man. Nah, you don't have bad taste, Isabella. There's no such thing as bad taste. If you like this theme, that's totally fine, okay? Don't feel bad for liking it. <laughs> what 
what is it, man? Uh, Benjamin, I don't, I haven't heard a good remix of this theme because all of the remixes are basically the same. Because all of the remixes of this version are a more EDM version, <laughs> a more dance music version. So this is finished, and before I rank this theme, I have to say what I have to say. First of all, again, as, as I told you, when I heard this, I didn't think it was real. I didn't think it was from a Pokemon game. I didn't think it, it was going to be in the game, in the game itself. It was in the game. I was wrong. And for some reason, people loved it. Normal people, regular Pokemon players, not even the, the people that hear the OST, not even the people that listen to my music, to remixes, to remasters, like this theme so so much with so much intensity and even nowadays even nowadays i see people praising this theme okay I, I don't understand i don't understand what this theme has but i think i do okay i think i do i think it's because it's dance music and that's it it's a dance music composition i think it fits it kinda kinda fits for the football thematic they wanted to give to galar to the gym leaders on Galar. Uh, I still don't think it fits to Pokemon. In my personal opinion. Okay? I still think it couldn't belong to a Pokemon game. But then again, Pokemon games have changed so much through the years. Uh, there's not such thing as the Pokemon essence of a song. Because the Pokemon OST is so, so unique and so varied and... There's a lot of variety in the OST. But, and after all of this, I have to say, and uh, as I was saying to Isabella, <laughs> I enjoy this theme. <laughs> I enjoy listening to this theme. If you, if you put this theme outside of the Pokemon universe, as a normal, as a regular dancing song, I enjoy it. Okay, I, I, I actually enjoy it because it's it sounds good. I mean it's dun, 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 like it's catchy. It's so catchy and it's 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 fun. So for me to rank this uh, this is a Pokemon tier list of Pokemon battle themes. If I'm going for the Pokemon essence of, of the themes, uh I think it's okay. But as a standalone theme as a song I think it's definitely can't stop listening if I rank it as a song not a Pokemon battle theme but as a Pokemon battle theme it's okay for me and that's my taste okay if you guys have another opinion that's totally fine totally totally fine okay so now to clean up your ears uh, uh, I would put the theme on YouTube but you know how my internet behaves when I put another theme that's not in my folder and it's outside. I think I'm, I've got uh, a download of my own version of my Black and White 2 rendition of this theme on my computer. Uh, let me just look it up. Uh, I think I had it here. Let me uh, give me just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. I think. Uh, no, I don't think I have it. Was it here? I have, I have like more than a thousand music files on my computer and the 60 percent of it are pokemon music <laughs> so yeah uh, i'm lost among so much music where is it where is it where is it where is it have you guys heard it my black and white 2 remix of the galar gym leader battle tell me in the chat please uh where is it where is it where is it no it's not here I'm, I don't have it. Nah. Let's hope for the stream not to end when I put this. Okay. Cross your fingers. And don't leave. If the stream ends, don't leave, please. Okay. Galar Gym Leader, same. Uh, well, I have an old... It's this, this remix is so old. 
it's two years old and i think it's gonna be three years old soon uh i didn't even remember uh how how it was let's let's hear it again shall we i mean it's 2019 same so it's not that good but eh? I have to remake this. <laughs> I have to remake this. Definitely. Yeah, it feels so empty. Hearing it back, it feels really empty. There is basically no bass in this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. My intention was that. To make it sound more like Pokemon. And it's. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of there. Okay? I mean. It's almost three years old, so don't blame me, please. <laughs> I definitely have to remake that. Maybe, yeah, maybe for next month I can remake that. But yeah, uh, yeah, that wasn't what I was going to show you. It was this, what I wanted to show you. Like, yeah. Like, hell yeah. I don't even know how I managed to do this. <laughs> I don't know what mosquito bite me that day that made me do this. <laughs> Our anthem. Yeah, it's on the channel. Uh, I'm gonna send you a link, okay? Yeah, this is kind of a uh, mashup remix. I just called it DS Remix. I just used the bass, uh, the the original MIDI from from Black and White to Battle, and and did my magic. <laughs> Again, I don't know how I did this. I don't know what was I on <laughs> when I did this version. So yeah, yeah, that's it. I think that's the list. Yeah. Yeah, that's the list, guys. Uh, the other day... Um, the other day, I shared my list on Twitter. And I, I, I asked you guys to, to share your list with me. And nobody did. So, I got sad. <laughs> if you guys have an opinion or, or want to share your thoughts with me on Twitter... Uh, about this list or you want to do your own lists please do oh wait what okay that's it please do on twitter um i'm gonna i'm gonna send you the template for this and tag me at same i'm gonna i'm gonna put my tag my twitter tag uh on the chat um if you guys want to share your thoughts or your opinions or kill me for my opinion and kill anyone else too for their opinions uh, because you know that's all about on Twitter <laughs> kill each, each and everyone for their opinions oh no wait uh, I think this is it yeah this is it okay that's the list guys that's the template for for the list um that's it i think this is a stream guys uh yeah this is the stream i'm gonna be calling it a day 
uh, thank you all for being here with me today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for uh, staying, even if my net is the worst uh, in Mexico. <laughs> Thank you for staying here. Uh, thank you for being so kind for your donations of today. Uh, and if you guys want me to do a Elite Four or Champion Battles tier list, please put it in the chat. Please put it in the video, in the repetition of this video. And I'm going to be doing it next, next week, I think. Yeah, next week. That would be fine. Maybe Monday or Wednesday. Maybe. So, thank you guys for being here again. I'm going to be seeing you next time. And...